Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have with us our next guest in the studio. Now, this time around, we're basically looking at event planning. He's an event planner. He's an event manager. He's an on-air personality. And we're looking at all the, the drama that goes behind the scenes, what it takes to put together a proper event. We know that we're wrapping up the year, but some people who wanted to save cost, I'm sure did not do their parties in December, and we'll ship them to January. We're speaking with Tuale. Tuebi, as many of you who know his voice on Wazobia FM, now you get to see the face. It's good to have you. <laughs> Thank Welcome, you. Tuali. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Let, let's talk about, you know, we know you as an on-air personality. Today, okay. we want to speak with you as an event planner. We also know that you write, you, you do stage plays. There's one that you do every year. Mm. The police one, Checkpoints. Yeah, I'm checkpoint. trying to remember the yeah. name. So how did you get into event planning? Was it, you know, this stage dramas that you do that encouraged you to start event planning? Or was it something you've always loved to do? Um, I would say it's something I've always loved to do. Uh, uh, events for me has been um, the first point of call, really. Before I got into school, I started doing events. Um, from secondary school, uh, we would skip school, we would jump fences, you know, to go out to the events. Yeah. Wow. I started with um, organizing them. Um, uh, then, then back in secondary school, I know the first event I ever did was, um, um, we call it a uniform party, somewhere in um, uh, Navy Town. Navy town, but at the end of the day, the navy, the soldiers, the the navy um, officials, they came to chase us away, you know, because we we're just making a nuisance of the whole thing. You know, we gathered people from different schools, from satellite town, secondary school. We gathered them. Um, I gathered students from first stack and grammar school. Then, you know, we're all there. I was in a worry, you know. So these were the three schools I gathered students from. You know, the social prefects. Then we organized it and we got everybody together in navy town. Then. I had some students from Navy Town Secondary School too. We came together and we had a, that was my first event ever, you know. Um, people brought drinks and all that. It was a mess at the end of the day <laughs> because the naval officials came and they chased us. They were like, what are you guys doing here with uniform after school? You know, we're like, oh, it's a party. They say, come on, everybody leave. And they chased us out of the place. Um, but that's where it all started from, you know. So event has always been, has been my first point of call, you know. Even when I got into school, I was involved in several events. So That's aside right. to your own events that mm. you host yearly mm. or periodically, you also organize for other people, right? Yes. yes. Okay, and when people come to you, like, to contract you for that, mm. what are the cardinal points, you know, you sit down with them to discuss? Finance. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> money. You must have money to do events, you know. No matter the idea you have, you know, some people for events, they want everything. You know, when you talk to Tom's event, they want everything. They even want Michael Jackson. You want you to raise up Michael Jackson from the dead and bring him on stage. You know, so, but at the, at the end of the day, by the time you begin to tell them, okay, for you to do this, it involves this X, Y, Z amount. It involves this figure. It involves that figure. They begin to draw back and say, okay, okay, Twali, I know, you know, this idea, I know, eh, but can we remove this? Can we remove this? Can we take this out? Can we take that out and still have quality? So, first of all, I wouldn't say money is the point, you know. A point of call, but I would say the idea is key. What do you want to achieve? What are you looking out for? You know, what kind of event? What's the team of the event? You know, that's where it starts from. So that will now give birth to several other things. Will give birth to design, to color, to the amount of audience you want, the space that you're looking at, the um, you know, artist, sound, light, you know, stage, the stage design, and all of that. You know, the idea of the event to, you know, give birth to that. That's the first point of call, but. Second thing is money, babes. All right. Money. Let's look at some of the, <laughs> the, the things that can go wrong the most, common mistakes that are made when planning events. And I also know that you, you're, I've seen you, I've worked on events where you're like the stage manager, you mm. coordinate what goes on on stage and behind the scenes. Mm. So what would you say are some of the common, most common mistakes that happen at events? I'll make reference to something that happened a few days okay. ago. It's Africa 2018, mm -hmm. where Miss Columbia, I, I guess, won. Mm -hmm. And right after she was congratulated, her wig went into flames. Like, you know, her wow. wig caught fire. And it was, the question was, oh, you knew you're using fireworks. How did you do fireworks in such a way that somebody on the aisle, her wig caught fire? Mm -hmm. Like, that was a, it was a hazard. You know, so what are some of the mistakes that you've experienced in the course of your work as an event planner? Okay, thank you for what you just said now. Um, I will blame the stage manager one uh, because, you know, um, you know, putting up an event, you must consider safety, you know, when you're, when you, because, you know, when you, when, when it involves um, uh, the, the technical aspect of it, 
you know, building a stage, when they build a stage, what I do is when I go on that stage, I check everything. You know, even when we went for one of the event, they had live fire on stage. We were pumping out fire. And I said, this is not safe. Where I was sitting down, I said, it's not safe. And the dancers were moving close to the fire. You know, when they called to was moving close to the fire, they had these um, uh, Bet Niger flags, you know, flying up and down. And I began to say, it's not safe. Where I was sitting, I, was, I kept on saying, this is not safe. This is not safe. Where, because was where I was sitting, on, yes, there was a fire. They were pumping up fire on the stage. Yeah. Where I was sitting, I was like, I can feel the heat from where I was. You know, so in putting up, creating ideas, technicalities, you need to put safety, you know, you must put safety also in consideration. In building your stage, in building your set, all those things must put, you know, must put into consideration. Then um, one other problem that um, I know that event people have is that we run away from being scripted. You know, running from being scripted. You must be scripted. Putting up this show now, there's a script. You know what you're going to do today, and then um, whoever is producing back, you know, behind the camera knows what he wants to do. So you must script your, you must script your, your, your event. You must have a stage manager. You must have a show flow. That's one of the major problems we have in Nigeria. That is why you're on stage. You have so much, and at the end of the day, people will be like, it's a whack event. And when you ask them why is it whack, they'll be like, I don't know, but the thing is just here and there because there is no script. So we need to start to script our events in okay. Nigeria. We need to start mm -hmm. to script our events yes. and we need to pay more attention to safety, to safety yes. at, events. at events. When yes. individuals want to contract a, an event manager, what are mm. some of the things they should look out for? Because we know that sometimes, yes, the big names do the work, but mm. there are still some upcoming people that do as good a work as the big names, but are not given the platform, they're not given the opportunity. Mm. So why would I trust a new name that I haven't seen their work? What are the things you know, that would encourage me to try out someone as an event planner, even if I've never seen their work before? <sighs> well, <laughs> this is a strong one. Uh, number one, it depends on the kind of concerts you want to do. Okay. All right. Um, so are there specialties like in event planning, you know, so this one does only concerts, this one does only weddings, or as an event planner, will you be able to do all, all types of events? Well, no, 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 as an event planner, you should have, um, you should have your strength. I would say that you should have your strength. Um, People that do events, that do um, weddings, they know what they look out for. They know what, you know, they, they put into weddings, all right? If I do concerts, I might not have that patience for weddings. I might not have that, you know, that finance. I might not have that ideas for how to put a wedding together. Mm. But that does not change okay. the fact that I'm uh, an event person. I'm an event creator, you know? Uh, but I cannot also say that I cannot manage an event. You understand? Okay. Um, Putting up an event, the experience matters. That's okay. one, you know. Even with growing up, even with trying to encourage younger ones, experience matters. You don't want to put um, uh, put an event that is worth billions in the hands of a greenhorn. You understand? Pressure might 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 affect that person. Even if you have there's so much pressure on putting up an event, even if you have all the ideas, pressure can knock you off. You know, because you get to deal with different people. You get to do with the sound guys. You get to do with lighting guys. And they begin to talk to you and they begin to see that there's no confidence in you. They will tend to do what they want to do, what they feel that is right. We get to deal with that for every event. You know, some light will just pop up and you'll be like, oh, God, why are you doing this? And the guy is telling you that I think we should do this because I feel it is good. You think it is nice. You know, so if, if you don't know your onions, you All will right. begin to have issues. Okay, so know. have you ever had a time when you said no to a job? The reason why I'm asking is, there have been times when people actually, you know, they go to an event planner mm. and they say, oh, I want you to organize this event for me. Mm. And then the demands actually are out of the scope of the mm. ethics of the job. So have you ever had to say, no, I had, okay, let me give you a story. I had a, a, a time when someone actually told somebody, I wanted fireworks. Mm. And then just like the scenario we painted on one day calls event, that was going to happen, but the guy was a fireworks crazy person. And he said, I want it that way. What would you have done if you were in that position? Knowing <laughs> that, you know, it could burst into flames and it could be a potential hazard. Well, it depends on how we want to use it. Concept is key. Okay. How do you want to use the fireworks? That's it. If you tell me you want to put the fireworks in the midst of the crowd and you want to pop it in the crowd, I'll tell you, oh, God, this is not going to work. You know, we can rather do it this way. If you say you want fireworks, it depends on how you want to use the fireworks. You know, 
So have you said how you want to use it before? when you want to use it? Uh, well, Not money yet. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, I have. I have because um, some people just want some things they cannot afford. Mm. And you tell them this thing cannot work. And they will tell you, no, it can work. Because why? They've told you that um, they're, they're discussing when they're talking to somebody else. Mm. Some dude somewhere is saying, oh, no mind and move it, do I? This thing feel work. Mm. You know, I was supposed to do an event at, um, in Bayelsa, my state. I've done everything. I've contacted all the artists and I've done all that, you know. And I get to start to talk to another promoter and the promoter is telling me that he's working on the same event. Mm. And I called the guy and I said, okay, what thing they happen? And he said, you know, you cannot be too sure. I said, eh, okay, don't worry. The money we sent to me, I won't send them back to you. Okay. You know? And I had to return the upfront money. I said, guy. No, because at the end of the day, there will be conflict because of interest. Now, you have the way you do your things. Yeah, the upfront is sent to me is what he was saying that we can use to run the event. And I said, no, sir. We cannot run this event with this amount of money. This event will only cover just even one artist that you're looking for. You want everybody. You want whiskey. You want everybody. This money cannot run it. And you're talking to some other dude, and you do the same. No, that money can't do it. I got no mind now. So at the end of the day, decide what you want. Follow an event plan yes. that buys into your dream. Mm -hmm. And you know, you would have the event of your dreams. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. How can Thank people you. follow you on social media? Uh, well, uh, Instagram, Twitter, the same thing, Twali Baba One. All right. Twali Baba One is the handle to follow if you need to contact him. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.